Okay, this is a Snyder General GUA model. You can see that on the model plate coming up here. Okay, here we have a Snyder General. This thing was put in about 1990, I think 91 or something like that. Uh, and I'm going to go over how this one works. This one's a little bit of an odd duck. It had a pressurized combustion chamber. Um, but let's start looking at a few parts here. Here is a forced draft blower. I say forced draft because it's not an induced furnace. Inducer would be sucking on the heat exchanger. This is blowing on the heat exchanger. The air comes in here and goes around there and down here. Combustion chamber is right there. Notice the little dude with the fire coming out. If you fire this thing up with this cover off, the flame will roll out the front. So not a good idea to run it with the cover off. Uh, bit of a goofy ball. You know, usually these things are negative pressure in here, but this is this one is a positive pressure. Gas valve. There's the ignition control. These were not IFC controlled, integrated furnace controlled. They had hot surface igniter and they had a flame safety control right here. That's what that is. Okay. Okay, a little higher up here. This is your vent pipe taking the burned gases out. This is a pressure switch that is supposed to prove if there's any venting problems or so and so on. Uh, let's look at the piping on this. This pipe right here goes down and fits in here, which is just kind of a manifold. Uh, for the three heat exchanger tubes. There's three burners in this thing. Okay, this pressure here from the manifold is pushing on this side of this diaphragm. And on the other side of the diaphragm, it goes down here and fits right here. fits right there on the uh, four strap blower and if you look up in this four strap blower you'll see the tube right here that that fitting or that uh, rubber tube goes to this can go outside for outside air for combustion it doesn't have to but it can we can put a pipe in here, goes out the top and all that sort of crap and, and uh, you can see it goes out right there and it can bring in combustion air. You can see there we have that same Honeywell switch we've seen in so many other furnaces. There's a fan and limit switch there. Uh, so it's other than the fact that it has a pressurized combustion chamber it, it's not terribly odd blowers down below uh, there's a connection box here it has fan relay and stuff like that and the transformer and the like in it uh, but that's how this thing is put together uh, we'll start looking at how the burners burn in the next video